In this topic, using Word and Outlook together, we'll send a letter created in Word to our customers already on file in Outlook. To view our customers, we simply click on the contacts icon in the Outlook bar. These are our business and personal contacts that we use most often. We've set up a folder for our past customers to keep them separate. To display the past customers folder, we click on the contacts button. This expands the folder list to show the different folders available in Outlook. When we click on the plus sign next to contacts, it expands to reveal our past customers folder. We click on it and the address cards for these customers display. Let's take a look at one of our customers records. We'll open Tim's record by double clicking on it. Here we can see and edit his personal information. There are fields containing listings for his name, title, and address. We can even choose whether we want to use his home address or business address for mailings. You'll see a little later on how handy this feature is. The Notes section keeps track of important notes and dates for this customer. It even reminds me of important dates ahead of time so I can pop a card into the mail or give my customers a call. We'll close this record using the Save and Close button. When we click on it, the contact is closed and our customers display. Now, don't give away my secret. My customers often ask me how I keep everything straight. I just let them think that uh, it's all up here. The personal touch is what sets our business apart from the others. We'll use the Open Office Document button on the Office Toolbar to open our letter and start Word at the same time. When we click on it, the contents of the My Documents folder are shown. We can use this dialog box to open any file we have stored on our computer. What's great about using Office is that we don't have to remember which application we use to create a file. We can just select the file and Office will choose the right application. We select our file, See You Here, by double clicking on it. And in a moment, our letter is opened in Word. We've prepared this letter to touch base with our customers and to update them on coming Newport events. To start our merge, we'll open the Tools menu and choose Mail Merge. The Mail Merge helper will walk us through the merge process. The first step is already done, creating our form letter. We click on the Create button under Main Document and choose the Form Letters option. When we do, Word asks whether we want to use the file in the Active window or create a new document. We click on Active window and our current file is selected. Next, we'll select our data file. We click on Get Data and choose Use Address Book. We'll select our Outlook address book. Here's our Past Customers folder. We'll select it and click on OK. After we do, Word looks at our document and tells us to edit our document and insert our merge fields. Good idea. We accept the suggestion and our document is displayed again. This time, the Merge toolbar is displayed. It contains tools to help us create and process a mail merge. We're ready to add our Outlook information to the letter. We'll do this by inserting fields that represent the information we want to appear on the letter. When we're finished inserting the fields, we'll run the merge. We click on the Insert Merge Field button and choose our first name field, add a space, and click to add our last name field the same way. We'll select our postal address. This is a shortcut field that contains the mailing address we specified earlier in Outlook. This will automatically add the address, city, state, and postal code to the letter. We'll just add a salutation. Dear and add the first name field again with the merge field button. Our document is ready to merge. We'll use the mail merge helper button to complete our merge. We click on it and the mail merge helper opens, ready to get to work. We click on the merge button and choose merge to begin. 
our merge is processed, and our first letter displays. Let's look at our other letters. We switch down to the second page, and our next letter displays. Merging documents with information already on file in Outlook is just one of the many ways we use Office 97 to streamline our workload here at the Ivy Lodge. Having Office on our staff is like, well, having another set of hands to help out. Did you request another set of hands? Uh, no, honey. I was just comparing Office 97 to an extra set of hands around okay. the place. <laughs> Which reminds me, did you hang that dining room uh, picture yet? Well, I'll get right on it. 